how will you add one half and one third? Okay, so yeah, uh, again, this is an application of LCM. So to add fractions, uh, uh, what we had to do is you had to make the denominators equal. Okay, so let me write that. You had to make the denominators equal. Denominators equal. So you've got two denominators. You've got two and three other denominators. So you have to make, the, you have to find the least common multiple of two and three. So what's the LCM or the least common multiple of two and three? Well, that's easy. That's six. Okay, so two times three is six and three times two is six. So this one half, one half is same as writing uh, two, uh, one half, I want to write as six. So one half is how many sixes? Well, that is three six. One half is same as three six. So basically what we have done is we have multiplied this by three so it also multiply this top number by three, the numerator by three. So one times three is three, and two times three is six. So if you take one third, I want to write one third as a six. So I'm thinking three times what is six? Well, three times two is six, three times two is six. So if you multiply the denominator by two, you have also to multiply the numerator by two, so which is two six. So this is same as writing, in place of one half, we can write three six. So this is same as writing three six plus two six, which is five six. So I want to explain this five six uh, in a diagram. So let me draw, so this is a circle, these are two circles. Okay, now these are two circles, so the question is one, one half plus one third. So now I'm dividing this into halves. So this is one, two halves. So this is one half. When you, whenever you have a fraction, you should be in a position to see this in a diagram. So this is one half and this is one half. Now this circle, I'm going to divide into three parts. So I'm going to divide this into three parts. So this is one third, this is one third, and this is one third. So the question is, what is one half plus? So this is one half, this is one half, and this is one third. Oops, okay, I don't want this. So this is the question, one half plus one third. Now you can't add this, so let me draw two circles again, so this is circle, and again this is circle. Now, now I'm going to divide this into six, just to explain for those who find addition of fractions difficult. I'm going to divide this into six, and this also into sixes, and that's why we have to find the least common multiple. So this is, this much, I hope you can see, this, let me shade this, this much is how much? This is three out of the six equal parts. So this is three sixth. And three sixth, I hope you can see, is same as one half. Okay, and let me shade this with blue. This is how many parts of the six equal parts? Well, this is, this is two, two sixth two out of the six equal parts. When you write two six, what are we saying is two out of the six equal parts. And that is same as one third. Okay, so this, so I hope you can see this. So let me drag this. Let me drag this and place it on top of this to show that they are equal. So, can you see they are equal? So this two, Two, one third is same as two sixth. And this one half is same as three sixth. Okay, so this is, can you see this is one half I have placed as, so let me bring this back and hopefully uh, I have to, yeah, no. 
Okay. Yeah, so this is one third. And let me bring this back. Okay, so this is, okay. So this is two sixths. So and let me bring this back. Okay. So, and that's why one half plus one third is five sixth. Okay. So let me do a few more examples without drawing the circle. Now this is good when you have got uh, two numbers or easy fractions, but you can't do this every time. So let's take the next example. Uh, what is two thirds plus one quarter? Two thirds plus one quarter. So the first thing that you have to do is to find the least common multiple. So least common multiple of three and four is 12. Okay, so three times four is 12 and four times three is 12. So, so I'm going to write two thirds. I want to write two thirds as 12s. So I'm, so three times what is 12? So well, three times four is 12. So you have to say, do the same thing to the numerator. So this is eight twelves. And you've got one quarter. I want to write as something out of 12. So three times what is 12? So three times, four times three is 12. So you do the same thing to the top number. So now two thirds, this is two thirds, is same as saying eight twelves. So this is equal to eight twelves plus three twelves, which is eleven twelves. Eleven out of twelve. Okay, let's do one more example, which is not going to end up with a neat number. So this is three fifth plus three quarters. Okay, now students start doing crazy things. When they see the top numbers, uh, they add the denominator. Okay, so basically there's only one rule when you're adding fractions, the denominators have to be equal. So the least common multiple here is 20. Five times four is 20, so I'm writing same. So this is, I'm going to do this directly. This is out of 20 plus out of 20. So three fifth is how much out of 20? So well, that is three times five times four is 20. So you do the same thing to the top number. So this is 12 out of 20. And four times five is 20, three times five is 15. So this becomes this. So this is 17, 27 out of 20. Now this is not a proper fraction. So we want to write this as a improper fraction. So can I write this as 20? plus seven out of 20. And I can distribute this like this. So this is 20 out of 20 plus seven out of 20, which is one plus seven out of 20. And so this is called a mixed number, which is one whole seven out of 20. Okay, and finally, what is five sixth plus one quarter? Now here the LCM is a bit tricky. It's not 24, LCM is 12 here. Because six times two is 12 and four times three is 12. So I'm going to change color now, just for the sake of changing. So I want to write out of 12. Okay, so this is times two times two, times three, times three. So this is 10 out of 12, plus three out of 12, which is 13 out of 12, which is 12 plus one out of 12, which is 12 out of 12, plus one out of 12, which is one plus one twelfths. So the final answer is one whole one twelfths.